Cheryl didn't seem to know that Luther had my dad killed, but I rattled the cage. Now we wait and see how she wants to play it. You look incredible. Well, Jordan's getting better at flying without messing up your hair. It wasn't Jordan who took me. You didn't want to go flying with John and me either. It's that damn phone call. I've tried talking to him about it, and every time he blows me off. You know when I came back from that other world? John and I weren't in a great place. It took a while, but we figured it out. Just like you and Jordan will figure it out. God, I missed you. You want me to talk to him? No, it should be me. By the way, you don't look so bad yourself. Hey. 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 We need to talk about that phone call. I told you I'm fine. Well, I'm not. So what, you want to make yourself feel better? I want us to move past this. Please talk to me. I just... kind of wish you chose me. John didn't have powers yet. He couldn't protect himself like you could. I know, but everything's just always been so easy between you two. Ever since Metropolis, whenever he had a problem, it always just works out. But me, I, I screw everything up. That's not true. Dad died because of me. Grandpa died because of me. Jordan, look at me. This was all Luther. Your father and your grandfather would never want you to blame yourself for this, not ever. Mom, I'm not mad that you chose John. I'm mad that you were right. I keep letting you down. Sweetie, I love you so much. As much as I can possibly love another person. And it kills me that I ever made you feel like I didn't. And I want to do everything to make this right, but you have to let me. Please. Okay. Okay. I love you, Mom. I love you, too.